All right, welcome into the barn. I have a new horse here that just came in a few hours ago, and I'm going to evaluate him. So we're going to video the whole evaluation from start to finish and just check this horse out and see what we can figure out where he is and what he's all about. And he's wearing a fly mask, and I'll show you why here in a second. So first thing I noticed is he backed up three steps when I walked in here. And that just means he just doesn't know me. He's not never seen me other than when they unloaded him off the trailer. Okay. And he's wearing a fly mask. Okay. Come here, buddy. So he's backing up because he's just not too sure about me. Um, the story on this horse, as I know it, he's about 10 or 11 years old. His name is Jacob. And in the summertime, he got a bunch of his hair got sunburned off, and that's why he's got this fly mask, and he's been to the vet, and he's not going to, you know, he's okay, just the hair hasn't grown back. So because of that, I'm going to do something I rarely ever do, and that is I'm going to try to work him in a web halter. That is my plan, so that it won't put any unnecessary discomfort on him, and we'll see if he... If he drags me around the pen, then I may have to do something else, but I'm going to try that. So the first thing I notice, he's okay, but he's also kind of on alert. See, his, his head's up. He's, he's he not sure what's up here. Okay, but he did let me catch him. Um, and I know the folks that own this horse fairly well, and, and he's had several months of training. So I'm going to go ahead and take him out to the round pen here. He's had several months of training. But that has been a while back. Um, and then there were a few issues at the trainer. He reared up, and I'm not sure what all. But uh, anyway, we'll figure that out as we go along. So he leads real nicely. Um, you know, that's kind of the first thing I want to know. Can I catch him? Is he going to lead out without dragging me around? Or do I have to drag him? And so he leads really well, so passes that pretty good. Okay, now let's just see, and, I, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be pretty good on a lot of this stuff, because the girl who owns him, I know her, and, and I know she's petted him and laid on him and, you know, messed with him a fair amount. So he should kind of be okay, this stuff. He flinched a little, but he doesn't know me, so, uh, you know, won't be surprised if he just gets a little bothered. I just want to see if he's going to have any oh no spots here um, this is just how I check out any horse now since this horse has been ridden I'm not gonna you know if this was a two-year-old there are things I'm gonna do that I wouldn't do if I knew it hadn't been ridden I just go ahead and start working it in the round pen so he's a little flinchy there he's, he's a little touchy about that not bad he's sure paying attention to me okay now let's see if I can bend his head around here. Probably not, unless he's used to this. Uh, a little bit. And that's typically what most horses do. They'll kind of walk around because they don't understand I'm wanting him to bend his head around. This is just the beginning of being able to get some, some bend and some suppleness in your horse's body. Got to be able to do this right here. There we go. Okay. All right. So I think I'm going to get by with this web halter. He's not pulling on it too hard. A little bit, but not bad. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. You know, it's not bad. See if we can get it on this side. So he's, this is just him. He doesn't understand what I'm asking him to do. He'll figure it out here in a minute. Frankly, I'm a little surprised that he doesn't understand this because if, he's, if he was a trainer for several months, I mean, that's one of the first things I want a horse to know. He's licking his lips there a little bit. So I'm kind of surprised he didn't know it. And 
And folks, sometimes my, my videos are like the most boring videos on the internet. I know that. It's because it takes as long as it takes. You can't train a horse in a two minute TikTok. It's just not gonna work. Okay, you have to have patience. It takes however long it takes, it's however long it takes. Okay, now let's see what he handles. If I just throw this rope over his back, is he gonna handle that? Okay, yeah, pretty good. He didn't overreact to that, which a lot of horses do. So I think he's had that done quite a bit. All right, okay. That's okay. And his hooves are trimmed, so I'm not gonna mess with that right now. And uh, it's not really a deal. So, I'm gonna see what kind of movement I can get out of him. And he's walking around snorting and sniffing the pen, which I'm gonna let him do for a minute. He looked at me, I really like that. Good, all right. So, it may look like I'm not doing anything but I am. What am I doing? First of all, I'm letting him know that I, I'm aware of what he's thinking, okay? I'm not just here to ignore him and be mean to him. Good, he looks at me, I'll take the pressure off. Okay, now, he needs to understand cluck means go. And again, I kind of assume he knows that, but maybe not. So I'm gonna point, and he moved off. Pretty good. Good, so that's a good thing to know. Let's do it again, point. So he knows that pretty well. And the dog's running around out there and that bothered him, and that's part of the training program. Getting used to that dog running around. You know, of all the videos I do, probably the most comments I get are about the dog running around. And my answer to that is, it's annoying. He probably annoys me more than he does anybody. But when my horses go home, they're not afraid of dogs, so my, my clients appreciate it. Okay, that's, that's why we do it. All right, so you can see he's pretty nervous, his head's up and he's kind of pretty tense, but he is moving out pretty nice. Let me see if I can get him to lope. And I'm not gonna do a full-blown round pinning session today. I'll do that tomorrow. I'll get him in here for about 45 minutes and work on a whole bunch of stuff as far as him turning into me and yielding to me. So you can see he's probably done this before because he spun in there on his own. Okay. But he knows cluck means go. That's the main thing I wanted to find out because that's a pretty important thing but you can also see he's really, really on alert. So that's definitely not a horse I would just jump on. At least not, to, not right this minute. Good. So see, he's done this before. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, he's done this before. I'm kind of waiting for him to drop his head and maybe lick his lips or something. Good boy. Takes as long as it takes. There he dropped his head. Okay, I like that he wants to be with me. That's really good. So I'm seeing a lot of good things out of him. All right, good, good. He dropped his head. There, he licked a little bit. Okay, so that took, what, a minute? You don't have a minute to wait on your horse? Or five minutes? Um, because a lot of what this horse needs to learn is that 
just because he gets excited doesn't mean he's going to die. He can calm down. Pressure will be on for a minute, and then it's going to go away. Good. Okay. All right. I like that a lot. Really good. Okay. All right. Next thing, let's see what happens. If I put a rope around his leg here, and I, again, I'm going to assume he's okay with this, but we'll find out. Can I kind of get him to follow me a little bit with that foot? Okay. Doesn't look like he's had that done before, does he? Hear him snorting? He says, what in the world are you doing to me? This horse is older. Like I said, he's 10, 11 years old. So he's, he's going to have a little harder with some lessons than a colt would. And all that snortiness just tells me he's not okay. <laughs> he's telling me that he's just not, not confident with what's going on here. And it's scaring him a bit. Okay, so I can already tell you just from the first few minutes, a lot of what I'm going to have to do with this horse is helping him find out he's okay. Okay, that's, that's going to be a lot of my job with him because he just, he's tense and bothered over stuff that shouldn't bother him. Hmm? Come here, bud. There we go. Let's try this side. So I can feel him quivering when I pull on that foot. His whole body is quivering, which means he's just afraid. Okay. <laughs> 